and welcome to Game the Game. I'm your host, Becca Scott, and today we have a very exclusive look at the prototype for Edge of Darkness from AEG. But before I introduce you to my fabulous friends that are about to play with me, let me show you how to play. Train your agents and arm your city watch. It's time for Edge of Darkness from AEG. Today we have been blessed with a prototype version of the game, so the pieces that come with your version might look a little bit different. This card crafter by John D. Clare pits two to four players against one another in a struggle for reputation within the metropolis of Aegis. However, the city lies on the edge of the Forsaken Lands, a region infested with demons and monsters, which players will have to fight off throughout the game. Setup begins with the game board placed center and the two optional expansion boards on either side if you have the room. Place 10 location boards of your choosing, five on each side, along with their corresponding card advancements on the extensions. Create pools for the influence tokens, Aegisian coins, and reputation tokens. Construct the tower nearby and place the black threat cubes into the bag along with 15 colored cubes for each guild in the game. Next, each player chooses a guild color and takes their player board, the matching 10 agents, placing four in the trained area and six in the untrained spaces, 10 player aid tokens, one reference card, one defense track token placed at the top of the track, four influence, five coins, two random cubes from the threat bag placed in the threat zone, and their four guild starter cards, three citizens and one patrician. Lastly, create the shared central deck by taking the neutral cards and removing any that have an indicator number higher than the number of players. Shuffle them, deal three, and place the rest in the discard pile. Those three cards go onto the tower, with the monster side, known as the blight side, visible. These represent the incoming attacks from the Forsaken Lands. Before gameplay really begins, we start with our prologue. Randomly assign the first player marker and place the round marker on the board. In this phase, players draft card advancements beginning with the first player by choosing any one of them from the board and sleeving it into one of their four guild starter cards. They may then activate and resolve the effect of that advancement, provided it's a prologue legal ability. Consult the rulebook for advancements you've selected in this game. As the draft order bounces back around, players choose a second advancement as well and activate it, but no one can choose an advancement already selected in the prologue by another player. Once everyone has upgraded two cards, each player chooses one of their unupgraded cards and places it into their guild hall. All the remaining cards are then combined with the neutral cards in the discard pile and shuffled to create our main deck. Place these cards city side up and lay out the top five cards along the open spaces known as the street. Gameplay is divided into rounds, each split into two phases. First, the assembly phase. During this phase, players take cards from their guild hall to start their hand. And then, beginning with the first player, they draft cards from the street up to a hand limit of three. So in the first round, players will take one card from their guild hall and two from the street. When drafting, a player must draft from the rightmost space on the street unless they pay one influence per card to skip down the line. Any future player who drafts a card with influence on it takes the token and flips it to the yellow side known as Goodwill. Goodwill goes towards your reputation at the end of the game. After each draft, the remaining cards slide down and the player moves their threat cubes onto their cards drawing new threat cubes from the bag equal to the number shown on their newly drafted hand. In the action phase, players take turns in clockwise order resolving actions. First, they drop any cubes on their hand into the tower. Ooh yeah! As the cubes land in the trays below, the color in the majority corresponds to the player whom the monster above will attack. Black means the monster attacks all players simultaneously. However, a monster will only attack once a certain number is reached. Six for two players, seven for three, eight for four. Ties mean the monster attack both or all players. When the monster attacks, it deals damage equal to its damage rating. If the player cannot mitigate any of the attack, the monster strikes. And regardless of how much damage, the player only lowers their damage track by one. This means they will have less reputation at the end of the game. Next, the player takes a variety of actions in any order of their choosing. Though a player may optionally activate any of the effects on their cards, they must at one point choose an advancement and sleeve it into any one open card in their hands. 
They may then activate that new effect if they wish. The slot location on the card doesn't matter, a player may pick whichever from the pile fits their open space. Some of these actions require agents, one of the main action resources of the game along with your Agesian coins. Use the trained agents to activate locations, build income, train more agents, and even sway neutral cards to your allegiance, just as a taste. Because cards are part of the shared deck, in future rounds you may draft some of your opponent's cards. If you use an ability on an opponent's card, pay one coin to the owner for the use of their operative. Once a player has chosen their actions and sleeved a new advancement, they also have the option of resolving any unused cards by discarding them. Discarding a single card allows a player to return a placed agent back onto their player board. Discarding two cards allows a player to activate any one ability of a card on the street, as if it was in their hand. Once the player is finished with their actions, they discard their hand, but pass over any opponent's cards in their possession this round, which go into that player's guild hall. Therefore, drawing an opponent's card into your hand means they have access to it next round. Once all players have completed their action phases, pass the first player marker counterclockwise, yes that's right, I said counterclockwise, and a new round begins. The various location boards in the game allow players to create reputation from many different strategies, depending on the locations chosen during your setup. A few options include increasing hand size at the Mill Hollow Farm Town, swaying neutral cards to your allegiance at Capitol Hall, mitigating damage from the monsters at the City Watch, training new agents at the University, or taking the fight to the Blight by attacking monsters at the War Council. After eight rounds are complete, the game ends and players tally their reputation. Leftover influence, coins, and goodwill are all pooled together and each worth a quarter of a reputation point. Additionally, each trained agent and each each card ability within a card owned by your guild, including your starter abilities, is worth one point. Then add all the reputations still left on your defense track. Highest score wins the game. And that's Edge of Darkness. I'm Becca Scott, and you can watch me play this game and other sweet games on Game the Game right here on Geek and Sundry. I'll see you there. Welcome back to this other version of me in a different shirt. Now let me introduce you to my friends. Remember how I mentioned John D. Clare who created this game? Well, he's right here. Say hi, John. Hi, hi guys. Hi. <laughs> you can lean back now. <laughs> I can, I can stop getting out of the frame. Shh, movie magic. And uh, to my left, we have Kate Elliott, who hello. you all know. Ah, hello. <laughs> and to my right is Amy Dallin. Hello! Uh, so excited to be here and play this awesome looking game. Awesome. Now, John was kind enough to offer us to play with this amazing prototype version because they have a Kickstarter running this week, which was already funded within 24 hours of going up. So congratulations, Thank John. you. Thank that you. is very exciting. Uh, but if you're watching this within a recent time of it being put up, you can still donate to that Kickstarter and get yourself a copy of the first round of printing. Yep. Very exciting. All right, now we all know how to play. They all know how to play. Uh, let's give John that first player marker, since it is randomly oh. decided. And we randomly we randomly this. choose its name. <laughs> yeah. <We're good. laughs> All right. And uh, let's jump right in. Let's dive in. So we're in the prologue phase. Ooh, um, prologue. I am going to start by grabbing the War Council member. So we start with three citizens and one patrician. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that War Council member and put him on a citizen. I then get to do the action and I will pay the full two influence to place two. I could have placed just one, but I want two there in order to be able to do the location ability. He took the war council. Prepping, prepping for battle already. I am going to claim the treasury officer. Oh, yeah. yes. My goal is to get rich quick so I don't get stuck with what happened to me in our play mm -hmm. test, which was I was real poor. <laughs> Too much money is never a problem, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, my strategy was to take the treasure wah, wah. dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got beaten to it, so I think I'm actually going to. I was thinking maybe maybe I might go over here that to be, Farm Town. Yeah. That could be a strong kind opening of move. Like yeah. that. Okay, so I'm going to put one little guy, one of my uh, agents, down here, and I get one monies. Mm -hmm. Thank you now, very much. just to reiterate what we already mentioned in the how-to, we start with only four of our ten agents trained, and by uh, 
putting him in the university, we train more. Now you went for the farm, which She's means- going for a bigger hand size. Yeah, so you've got one there now. For every two guys there, you get one more card in your hand size. Amy, you get two picks. I think I actually will try to start with the training. There you go. Talk me through this. This gives so. me, the university professor means I can put a dude You can place down. one trained guy here, which is gonna give you a discount on the second half of the card. So I'm gonna, woo, nice. pay some money. Put this here and put the Mark university up. professor on one of my citizens. So your people are poor, but smart. Yeah, I what? relate to this. So I will go ahead and try to use my new training to start exerting influence. I'll grab Capital uh, Hall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Which means I can place up to two people. That's right. And the Capitol Hall will let her start c capturing allegiance of additional neutral citizens and patricians and making them members of her guild as opposed to neutral. You're gonna need, a, you're gonna need more money though. I'm gonna need soon. money, yeah. yeah. You're gonna need more money soon. <laughs> My goodness. Um, I would like the City Watch Commander, please. Going for the defense? I am going for defense, so thank you. So this is gonna allow her to place two, uh, up to two guys, which will one will not help you very much, but will two will be you. quite useful. Oh. Two here, so um, this is going to help her when threats attack. Hopefully it will help her. It's my turn, and not much is left. Oh, the blacksmith is great because it's two coins now and uh, a possible fighter when I need it. The watchtower is left as well, and that one's great for a big attack. Um, but you know what? I'm going to stick with my original strategy, which is all money, the money. Money, money, money. Wow, nice. And you guys did what I was hoping you would do. Oh, me, no, that's terrible. No. Get out of here. me the Deep Hollow Militia Chief. We played right into his plan. Which it's is only... the, so now I've, I've gotten the card that lets me attack and the card that gives me big attacks. Big attack strength. So big I get to put two up. there. And that's it. We are now on to the first normal round. Keep Yay. one that you didn't upgrade. Yep. I'm one. so excited. Why'd right, you have to so flip them? I saw mine way at the bottom. Five <laughs> cards oh, wait. are revealed. I saw Amy's way at the bottom. Oh. Yeah. So last time we played, I was purple. So thing. Thing. Ah, maybe thrown off. All right. I am first. You Let's take back tokens. That's okay. Right. Thank you. Yes. So these are just our player aid markers, which we can ha use however we like. Thank you. Yep, and they're in the, the rest of the game, you can take whatever one you want. You're not restricted to what hasn't been chosen. All right, so if I draw, I'm getting, so the first thing we do in the assembly phase, you take all cards out of your guild hall, take your cubes out of your threat zone and place cubes. them on your cards as a reminder. And then in turn order, we're gonna draft. So I have one card already, so I need two more. In the so. street, there is only one card that has a cool add-on in it, which happens to belong to Kate. So whoever gets that and uses it will have to pay Kate one to use her cool function I ability. Pay me. <laughs> skip her card and take these two. She's a very lovely citizen, you know. You shouldn't be so judging. That's true. That's kind of judging. And then I have one cube icon on my cards, so I will take a single cube mm -hmm. out of the out of the bag and put it in my threat zone for next round. Okay. Ooh. So mm -hmm. your strategy is to keep your hang your agents back, or you no. just didn't have any agents to work with right I'm, now? I'm trying to at least start the game. I'm going to try to use your guys' cards to train agents instead of investing in the card itself. So I'm going for a strategy early that doesn't need a lot of agents. Uh, and this card, while it's great, does need agents. So I decided to not pay an extra influence to get right. that card. But that card is amazing, and I want it. <laughs> so this I'm going to take because it already has a goodwill token on it, mm. yes. and I know that I'm going to turn it in because I don't really want that effect this time. Um, and that one's probably good for you. I definitely want this. Mm. I want to place a citizen. Oh, oh, yeah. oh wait, it's You're not my turn. Done? So you need cubes. So, ooh, three cubes. Three cubes. How yeah. threatening. Three cubes on my two, correct? Two cards. So great. I'll take these two. Top two are great. Top two are great. You are gonna have, you can pay some influence if you want to get this defense out here, but it's gonna take two influence currently because you're only drawing two ooh, cards. Yeah, I don't have a lot of options. Uh, I think that I will probably end up just turning these in for stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the two, two. citizens. I think that's a good move. Uh, Take what's free. Ooh, and then... Becca's money cards are coming. <laughs> a little ways down, but Jeez. they're coming. Uh, and then I take two cubes because I've got... 
You got it. So now we're on to the action phase. Action. If you guys want to, you can flip your cheat sheets over flip to follow along. Down. So um, I take the cubes on my cards. I'm gonna throw them into the tower. <gasps> I first drop. Nothing's going to attack, Ooh. but once the, one of these tubs gets to eight total cubes, it'll attack. So we've got a little buffer here to see what's coming. Mm. I'm gonna get um, two influence and two goodwill for my two patricians. So I am just going to take the blacksmith and this turn use it for the money, but the attack strength will probably be useful later as I plan for bigger attacks. Um, no cards are owned by you guys, so all of these will go to the discard pile. You got a heavy fighting strategy Cubes. there. Ooh, cube drop. Dun, 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 dun. I am going to pay Kate for the use of her Mill Hollow landowner. Thank Thanks. you very much. And I am going to send an agent to the farm. So that is spent. Uh, I've got a citizen I don't want, so I could pull back something, but I have zero agents in the field. Um, and I, I wish I could discard both of these cards in order to play an ability that's out in the street, but I need my patrician that belongs to the Green Guild so that I have something to sleeve into. I but might as well it. get my own landowner because then next turn I will have an increased hand size. Are you impressed? Uh, that's a good move, yeah. You'll have, <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have a four card hand for the rest of the game, which is as long as you yeah. leave them there. Yeah, what up, four card hand? Okay, so I'm doing that, and that gets me an additional coin because I get to enact my card right away, mm -hmm. and I will place that agent. I also get to use oh, yeah. the patrician, yeah. which gives me one influence and one quarter point, also known as goodwill. Yep, and then cubes. Still nothing will attack, but Ooh, this is, this is getting close. This is halfway there at this point. At least. Okay, I'm going to use my two patricians to get... Uh, Two of these. I'm getting two influence mm -hmm. and two goodwill. Excellent. Goodwill on the right, and influence on the left. I'm going to take another one of these Mill Hollow landowners, which is the same thing Becca just did, because I'm doing the same thing Becca just did. Well, we're farmer friends. We, we are, but get off my land. All no, right. But I'm just yeah, that's not. But get river. off my land. I'm on the other side of the river. And my cow. But we're friends. Okay. I'm made. <laughs> I also We're're want to, to pay four, four gold. Thank you. I think I can <laughs> just about reach to train one of these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the one. And, and you gotta, it's a you purple card. gotta pay Amy, you gotta for, pay that. Amy oh. for the privilege of using Actually. her card. Yes, of course. Thank uh, you. Yes, of course. Oh, slightly less poor. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Progress. <laughs> Wonderful. That's that. Uh, that goes back to you. Yep. Over there. Thank Thank you. These the two time. go in here. Cube drop. Cube drop. <laughs> We're safe again. Okay. Ooh. I don't like that. Sorry, the Kate. middle dude's hunting no. after you right now, it looks like Kate. Uh oh, and he takes three to kill. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I was not preparing for huh. this. Uh oh. But you are preparing for this. She oh, is. that's true, two, that's true. Two would block a two strength, no problem. She needs either a third guy there, or a guy there, or go kill it first before it attacks. Kill it before it's it kills four. you. So, in my turn to take actions, these guys aren't good for much. Good for nothing. Uh, I will want to uh, add something, and I think it would probably benefit me to go ahead and get a treasury. More money. Good choice. Uh, from my patrician here. That will give you three More bucks. money, more agents. And then your patrician will also give you That's not one happening. and one. Thank you. So I've used this and this, um, just to keep track there. So you used your patrician and your treasury officer. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the patrician thing. Okay. I'm a little concerned about my money at this point. That is a fair concern. <laughs> Thank you. I discard mm -hmm. the penny saved is a penny earned. And we have completed the first round. Whoa! Dun, da, da, da. Checkmate. So everyone <laughs> take all cards out of your guild hall. I have none. I have none. All cubes out of your threat zone. I have one. Great. I don't And you're first. You're getting two cards because you already have one. Oh. Um, Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna hope it's worth spending influence to skip a citizen. Yeah. Uh, and get Kate's citizen and Ooh. the patrician. Mm -hmm. It's a good looking ah. citizen. Great citizen. That's an upstanding citizen you've got right there. Yeah. His hair's mm -hmm. upstanding. So then the last step of your turn is to pull cubes. And you're oh, getting okay. four and that then happens. throw in your I'm gonna skip this. Do you have to pay with here? Nope, I'm gonna be drawing that one. Okay. And I'm gonna yeah. skip this. And then I'm gonna be drawing this one, this one. This one, gotcha. which I think is going to work out okay. 
Yes. I'm doing, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. I really don't want to have no influence. The last time I, I played an extremely aggressive strategy the last time. And, was Close burned by balance. having no influence repeatedly. Okay, I'm definitely happy drawing a citizen of my own and getting a quarter point for it, so I will take that first card. Nice. And then for my other two, The Apollo see. Militia Chief's great. You should probably get that and pay me for it. That's yours. <laughs> I don't want to give you money. I'm gonna put some goodwill down and I will take my blacksmith and this patrician. All right. Slidey, slidey. Slidey, slidey. Slippy, slip. Mm -hmm. Here's your cubes, Becca. Thank you. Okay, so I draw two cubes based it's, on it's the cards good. in my hand. <laughs> you know you want it. The, the amount you're trying to sell it to me makes me not want it. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, so if you don't use it, you don't pay me anything. Let's take these two then, yeah. Take the top two? Yeah. Uh, I've picked up the treasury officer. So I got two, so I need to get two cubes. You have five. I've four. <gasps> oh, it counts what's already in your hand. It counts yes. everything on I your think. cards. Five, one, two, oh, three. Oh, I didn't even four, see five. five. Yeah, the threats are coming. Uh, you are first. Drop your cubes. We're All on to the right. action phase. Action phase. <laughs> okay, that's that's bad news. I probably want to kill that guy uh -oh. before he kills me. Five out of eight. So in some order, I get to leave somebody, mm -hmm. uh, advance somebody, and then spend all my goodies. Would it be a good I'm idea for me armor. to <laughs> put a treasury card on here because then I have both a treasury yes. card and a training that ability? That makes sense. Ooh. Oh, that is good. Yeah. 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 If assuming I ever see this card again, officer which, of the treasury. I hope I shall. Your citizen Brilliant. now now knows somebody over at the treasury office. I just look how pretty it is. How does the university professor come into the scenario with the treasury officer and the citizen? The Do citizen know knows these people okay. and wonder. is able to, now they're connections yeah. of that citizen, which gives that citizen the ability to, using, using his connections, influence the locations associated with those, those people. So I'm going to start using that. I will first, uh, treasury officer for three, please. Yep, gotcha. mm -hmm. uh, Money. I will uh, use my university professor ability what? to... Do you want to place a guy? Pull. You don't actually have to place, but you can. I can because it will make this okay. cheaper, yep. right? So it only costs you two bucks now. It you will now cost there. me two dollars. nice. Yeah, it starts getting nice. To train up somebody. I, I also can use the City Watch Commander uh, to place folks here, which I thought might be... Defense. That's a good idea. for this mm. two yes. guy. It means one. I'm going to be out of dudes, but mm -hmm. I might just take Can that Can you place rinse. two during a single turn? Oh, up yes, to two? up to two. Yeah. No. But you got to so, pay Kate. Yes, I will pay Kate. Yo. I will Thank use you. this citizen who knows there's someone on the City Watch, the, the commander of the City Watch. I've got a friend. He'll give you a job. Uh, mm -hmm. To place two folks in the City Watch, which now means threats attacking me have minus one claw ability. So if this guy attacks you? You insta-block him. Oh, yeah. I haven't done, used my Patrician ability. Gotcha. And since I've used abilities on all three cards, I'm not discarding anything. You can swap those in for a point. And oh. I am done. Uh, cool. So this will go to Kate, okay. and the rest go to the discard pile. Thank you. And that's my go. Oh. I am fortunately dropping discard, a single right? cube. Welcome yes. back, citizen. Single cube, which I'm hoping lands on the right. It does not. Oh, have, oh I meant Why? left. It went exactly where you wanted it. It went where I said I wanted it, but not where wise. I actually wanted it. It could be left or right, depending on if you're talking about your POV mm. or cameras. One dollar for Becca. Everything's perspective. For three dollars for me. Thank you for letting me use your connection there. Did you know there are aboriginal cultures in Australia that don't even have words for right and left? They just describe everything in relation to cardinal directions, unrelated to this game. I am wow. This way, that way, ha. or uh, what do you mean? This is my southwest arm. They just know all the time which way they're facing? When your culture is all around it, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's crazy. I, oh, I like that. that a lot. Thank you, Hidden Brain. I will be pulling the War Council member. Uh-oh. Or I will be using the War Council. I will be returning two to hunt threats this turn. <gasps> I have one, two, and sadly, see, this is where I need to decide. I could use all three Please and get an extra it. point, I'll which would it. be better. It would be better. Or I could just go kill the guy that's most likely to attack me. I'm going to save my dollar and just kill this guy. Yeah. It also stops them from getting defense points when it attacks them. Mm. So those cubes are pulled and pull. will not yes. go back in the bag until we are empty of cubes. The bag is empty of cubes. I score one point for killing that guy. You killed the dark yeah. agent. I smoked him. Dark agent. And then the bottom card of the deck will replace, and that is going to trigger a deck shuffle at the end of my turn. Oh my. I'm sleeping, yeah, not me. I'm sleeping an advisor to the chancellor. I now have two free guys, which I will put at the Capitol Hall and retrieve them immediately oh to trigger goodness. the location effect, which oh, says, my. on your turn, return two and pay five money to claim allegiance of a neutral card in your hand. Ooh. Wow. Paying five, 
wow, taking an allegiance okay. slip and putting it on this neutral card that I just buffed. Very nice. Wow. Okay, so my strategy is I want all this the cards. Mm. <laughs> These go in the discard before shuffling. We shuffle at the end of my turn. I just got excited. Here, I can finish the shuffle. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess I should not <laughs> for sound reasons. <laughs> that I like. Cool. All right, feeling better about that. Okay, you've got two in the middle here. Thank you. Not regretting I've my I've got two over here. Okay. Okay. Give me a cut number. Four. How do you have so much money? I have a lot of money, but I don't have a lot of agents anywhere. I am going to discard your citizen and deep hollow militia chief. Oh, you get the discard into your guild hall and the patrician. Now that I've discarded two cards, I can use an ability on the street. I'm going to use the war council member. You get a buck because that's still yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, because then I still uh, have an open sleeve slotting you ability. Okay, so I paid you, I paid to influence in order to put down my agents in the war council, okay. take them immediately back in order to attack with my three attack symbols. Which would you like to kill? One of these two, I assume. Mm. They're pretty, they're exactly, well. One's going for Amy well. and one's going for And they for both Kate. can defend it. Who do oh, you, you like both less? can defend. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Well, exactly. Exactly. I'm so going to need quickly. you to pick for me, John. Uh, You're going to kill the one that's closer And it's a popularity okay. contest, not random. Make sure it's. I picked the one closer. It's totally to random. Yeah. I didn't pick. I love you <laughs> both a lot. Yeah. <laughs> My only agents in play are at the farm town, which means I get an increased base hand size. Mm. Sucks up a lot of agents, mm -hmm. but is pretty cool. So I really need more agents, and I am going to get a university professor. You just like people at the school with you? I don't know, it's a <laughs> company. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hang out with Amy. So um, if I put down a person yes. here, then it costs one less to train, so I'm gonna pay three coins. I'll just pay my three in order to train an agent. Excellent. And that is my turn. Kate. Okay. Cubes. Cube. Singular. Cube. It's okay. Oh. oh. He needs to die. <laughs> I'm looking at the university professor, and now these two things, the Milholland Landowner and the professor, don't work together, but I could choose to do one or the other. Is that a good or a bad strategy to take up my card like that? You mean to slot it in and yeah. fill up your card? So if you're, if you're planning on putting a lot of guys at the Milholland Farm Town, mm -hmm. you're gonna run out of guys, Yeah. right? Which means training guys is a good move. So I'm moving my agent how. into the university. Hey guys, I'm here Hello. to learn! Hey, welcome. Where's the lunch hall? That's I'm all the I only care. uneducated. Uh, <laughs> but you punch have real good. Guild. I have nothing else I can do. I could discard them, but I don't want to, to use that. So at minimum, discard two cards to use a patrician if you're not going to use Oh, the I could use the patrician. Thank you. That's a great idea. I will discard these two. Yep. Chapel goes back over there. Good thing. Good call. Okay, that goes there, and then I get one and one. Yep. Lovely. And you're done. Perfect. Thank you. That is the end of round two. This goes to you. You're drafting first, I and you're getting lot. yes. There's a something's gonna. We're gonna get attacked this round almost Lots for sure. Lots of cubes. All right, um, Kate. What do you want? Uh, from Kate, the you're street? drafting first. You're getting two cards. No. I'm getting three. Three, three. three cards. Yes. Because of all your farmers, so we all have uh, names for the guilds. Yes, we're the gilded uh, leaves. You're the gilded leaves. We're the gilded leaves. I am the um, Zoros. Carnival of Shadows. Right. Uh, I am the anointed, the anointed or if yes. I win, the annoying. Yes. <laughs> I am the feed something. Feed cartel. Feed cartel. Yes. Uh, the You're really into feet. Res perfectly respectable establishment. You have so much influence. Yes, I was actually going to use that to attack one because I'm looking at the monsters over there and I've got two cubes in the middle section right which now. Which you can't defend. Which I cannot afraid. defend. Yeah. Which means I'd love to attack it, but I don't have the gold, so I'm going to use my reputation <laughs> to skip that. And I'm using my reputation because I'm saying it's nothing personal. So these are the two you want? <laughs> I'm just looking for something really specific. I'm taking three, sir. Stop trying to shortcut me my cards, young man. <laughs> <laughs> I love the color, I love the artwork, I love the strategy, I'm a fan already. Oh, yeah. Elena, Elena Lemmer did all the location art. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. stunning. It's stunning, yeah. She's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Amy is deciding which cards to draft. I am. I get two cards because I had a citizen in my guild hall already. So I, I currently don't need to put more trained agents in the capital hall because I've got two there. Mm -hmm. And my thinking was that I'm going to save those for a round where I don't have any cards of my own, and then I pop the effect of uh, gaining allegiance. Mm -hmm. Spot on. Hopefully. Spot on. I don't have any guys. 
But I think I'm going to do... You could sleeve the training card. I could sleeve the training card. And we're always going to get yep. one of these effects of your choice. Right. To modify whatever you're otherwise missing. All right. I shall skip you, and I shall skip me. I shall take the citizen and this one. And that makes me... Please don't take the card I want. That which makes I know me well. very <laughs> happy. <laughs> Because I'm going to take these. Dang it! Yeah. Well. This is beautiful. I wanted Amy's advisor to the chancellor. That is a full I like your point strategies. worth of goodwill right there. That's all, that's, get that's, out of town. And I'm done. Okay, I actually get to draft three because I already have one in my guild hall, and I have a four card hand limit because I have a farmer, two farmers in Mill Hollow Farm Town. So I have I, ten cubes on my side right now. Yeah, they're coming fast. Here we go. And mm. there's two of you guys with four card hand sizes, so they're uh, yeah. You didn't warn us about that <laughs> side effect. <laughs> it's so, bad for everyone. Yeah, I guess so. I'm pulling six, so. Oof. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, at least there's no grays in there. Time to do some monster killing. Well, you've got all my grays. So, I really, really want an advisor to the Chancellor. There's one out there, but I'm going to have to pay John to use it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to skip something to do that. So, I'm going to skip the first card that belongs to John, take John's advisor to the Chancellor, Mm -hmm. and then slide everything down. I'm actually going to... Uh, skip one of those citizens in order to take nope. Amy's I think nope, I think nope choice. card. You get an next turn. Ooh. It always comes back to you. You want people <laughs> to draw your card. Yeah, be excited. Fantastic. Yeah. Come on, pass your cubes. Okay. Yes. Here it comes. I mean, no. Here they come. This no. should close an effect, but it might. It does oh, not. Thanks. Nice spread. Good. Goodness. Nice. Okay. Hopefully it spreads just enough so that when it gets to my turn, I can kill all the things that are about to attack. I only have one in each space. That's great for me. I'm going to acquire another treasury officer to get me three gold. Nice. I'm going to put that on top of a neutral citizen. And I'm going to use my patrician. Yep. Yep, and I will get one. One and one. One and one. Lovely. One influence and one goodwill token. And I just have this guy left over. I want to leave him there. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so there's your red card. My... Let's go that's right, because it's all Yep, drop your cubes. Thank you. Here they come. This Yee. is, if they all end in one spot, we can get attacked. Otherwise, got, otherwise they're going to hit us on my it. turn. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Cubes. Oh, wow, thank goodness. Wow, they almost did. Okay. Oh, all right, thank we're goodness. Okay. We, have, we have four, well done. six, <laughs> and five. They're coming. Let's see. The first thing I would like to do is uh, sleeve another professor on this another citizen, one. please. I just live in that mess hall now, as you called it, which is now infecting <laughs> me. That allows me to place a person. I don't have any, so that's not uh, currently happening. Guy. But it only costs me two here's to your, train here's your an agent. Change. Thank you for my change. And that agent I will then place. Place uh, in the land area. You will owe Becca one dollar to use her ability. Oh Yippee. shoot! I was excited about getting but, a coin, but, but you get a coin <laughs> back. So it costs you nothing, and just help Becca there. But you're sure halfway to a bigger one. hand size. I'm gonna give you a coin back later. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and I, so I think that's it for me. <laughs> All right, my turn. Here they come. This could. Oh, yep, that boy. does it. But this is good news. The middle one is the most gray, so it will attack only Kate. And, and you're safe. Oh, I dropped you get a, a cube. Victory point. Who's on for uh, Kate, you do? Kate successfully blocks it and gets a point. There you go. Yay, thank well you. Well done. And you, you saved all of us. All of us are appreciative of thank your you. guilds. I will take payments in ale and defense massages. of the thank city. You. And thank our you. first larger threat oh, is coming you. out. We have a six strength threat that just came out, which is fantastic oh, my news for me. Uh-oh. How big do they get? Uh, larger nice. than, if that had something at the bottom, it'd be even bigger. Don't worry, Ooh. I'm going to make everyone happy with my uh, defending the city s- strength. All right, so I'm going to sleeve a middle slot war council onto my other card that has a war council. So now Ooh. this card no longer okay. needs to use influence because the first Ugh. the first effect places one without paying influence. The second effect places another one without paying influence. That's oh. so smart. So my my no. my low influence problem is solved. <gasps> I will then pull them immediately I because that. I also have my Deep Hollow Militia Chief in my hand, which I can pull these for oh, plus three down. attack strength. So then I have three for that, four for that, five for that, and I will pay a single dollar 
to Amy for her citizen and have six attack strength and Get immediately kill him. Four victory points. Wow. So that, no, 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 actually, it's two victory points, and then the other one is either two victory points or a victory point in training guy, which is absolutely the what? one I want. So three points, please. This is your card, you're welcome. It Thank goes back you. To your hall. And we replace with the bottom card of the deck, which is another large threat. Good. Oh, it was one of Good. mine. Slightly smaller. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. As they go up as threats. Do I want to use your advisor? Hands. I do. I will pay you a dollar. Thank you. Put two over here so that you know, if I need them in the future, they're good to go. I would like Yay. to murder everything, Ugh, but I can't. You did the war <laughs> strategy. That was so smart because cool. war. Oh, cool base. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, wow. That's at seven. That popped. And it's currently coming after me, which is. Please kill it. Oh, let me do my turn. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I played it out for a reason. Yep. Treasury officer of mine, I get three coins, and a treasury officer of Amy's. Here's six a coin for you. I will take six dollars for me. Okay. Uh, that was one and two. Then third, I would like to use your uh, your um, advisor mm. to the chancellor. Money, money, money. I will place mm. two trained agents. So then I would like to train someone. This also is money to Amy. Thank you. Goodness to gracious. train someone, it only cost me Making three to do the training. So I've got a trained agent there. Okay, now here's the really hard part for me. I want to do so many things. So I definitely want to just immediately right pull away. back my capital hollies so I can use one of my cool, cool little green guild oh, my slots brain. to get a citizen in my favor. And then whatever I slot this turn is going to go on that citizen. I think I want... War Council, I can't really use this turn. You could just leave a War Council and just put a guy down and start preparing. I think I'm going to do that because I want yeah. to attack things later. Yeah, I think that's a fine move. You're just going to put one down then. One down. Because you don't have the influence to put two down, and you're done. It's true. I get my card back, and we're on to round four. And Amy gets her very cool card. Thank you. I'm thinking so hard about my strategy now that I'm sweating. I'm yes. sweating. We noticed you lost the jacket. OK, so <laughs> I'm first player now. <laughs> I am going to just take the first three cards, even though they aren't the best thing, but because I want to save my influence that I would need to use to skip over anything, um, I want to save that for later when it's more advantageous. My turn to slide down the seven cubes. Why? And I draw an additional one, two, just two. I'm going to take two citizens and a patrician. There's some good options coming. You're getting one card. All right, and I'm getting one card. Definitely worth skipping for that beautiful. Sure it Stop know. trying to influence <laughs> the other players. <laughs> You're Peter Baelish over there. Calm down. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do need to have some kind of plan here. You really want that card. I that is a neutral card that has an extra advancement oh, on it. Oh, yes, I do. I did that. And you I already it. are ready to yes, grab it. So you'd that. have to skip the first two. <gasps> because you the only to. other cards I had were yours, yeah. yeah. So Thank that's you. an amazing card to claim ownership of, <laughs> which you, you want to do this turn. I was Ooh, hoping I would, I thought it would be one of the other neutrals. I didn't notice that this had come out. Yep. All right, uh, you need your cubes for next round, and you need your cubes for next round, one, and I'm two, drawing. Three. Oh, not so bad, not so bad this time. Six. I'm gonna not go hunting this turn, and I draft first next round, so I will get that next round, so I will just take this for another full point worth of goodwill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love your War Council card, I'm jealous. And, yeah. and Europe. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is not good. Yeah, yeah, this is coming. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh! No. Yeah, Nothing yeah. went down the middle. So cool. this attacks me with just, and just me, so you're welcome. Actually, that's bad news for the people who could have defended it for free. I get attacked, I fail to defend, I use up my freebie. I don't lose any points for that, but the rest of them will. And I get attacked. This attack. will attack only Becca, which One, also hits has Becca. One, four green cubes. Yeah, the okay. next closest is black with two. Mm. All right, and we are through that. I'm card. over it. <laughs> and two new cards are placed. So first, we get another larger threat, and that's my card. Mm. Oh, boy. So I have an incentive to kill that, and then a small neutral one. All right. So this has a combined four attack power, but if you kill it, you can either get two victory points or a victory point and a trained guy. I like the training guys. Mm, mm -hmm. This has a combined five attack power, and you can get four victory points if you can kill it. Yep. I don't have anything fun to use. <laughs> so I think I'm going to discard in order to play something cool. It's a beautiful blacksmith. It's a blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would rather pay 
pay you for your war council member that works too. because then I can place one of my trained agents on that war council. I'll be ready to no hunt objection. threats in the future. Okay. So I will discard those two, two to make this that comes happen. To me. I will pay you one buck. Desperately needed. And money. I will put someone in the war council. Mm. Which means on your turn you may she pick could, up two. She could do it right now if she wanted threats. to, but she has no battle strength. So I'm gonna pull up my Mill Hollow landowner. Take back one greenie, three bucks for me. I'm gonna take my patrician money while I'm thinking about it. So that's two blue influence, two gold goodwill. And um, and I'll then I'm going to slot in an advisor to the chancellor so that I can place my two trained agents in Capitol Hall, immediately take them back and pay five to do so. Well done. Nice. Uh, and make this card all mine. He's joined the Gilded Leaves. You have a new guild member. I sure do. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are both mine. I'll discard them. Pass your cubes. We're, we're, we're safe for a little bit. Sire, must I? Yes, you must. No. Guys, yes, I don't must. know if I paid my five. Oh, well, they all landed in the middle this time. Oh, I'm still sweating. I'm trying to figure out what me I want too, to girl, do. Me too, girl, me too. It's trying to keep keep a bullet point list in my head of order of things I want to do, not just this round, but two rounds yep. ahead. Um, so I'm gonna get three, three gold. Bucks. Three, I'm gonna say gold. Gold coins, they're, they're coins. They're co they are coin, actually, three coin. I'm gonna take three coin for that. Do I need to get more smarter? Where are... Uh, a trained agent is a point at the end of the game. Slotting yeah. anything is a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, okay. Doing it? Uh, You're I'm gonna doing want it. a bottom slot. And you don't I'm necessarily to have slots. to place a trained oh. agent to make things less expensive. It just makes things less expensive, but it takes your it trained agent. Training. I can do this right away, right? Yep. I can pay four to train. Okay, that was the whole thing. It's only thing. gonna cost you two to train right now. So it's gonna cost me two to train now. Or I could actually, I could I could do this though. You could train another guy. I think Ooh, I will you do that. Me one, more please. Because yeah. I have to pay you one. All right, one back. Get on up here, mate. You both did great. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Good turn. Ah. So I will begin by dropping my cubes. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah, this, this, one's, this one's piling up quick. Uh oh. And currently it's at six. Large. Uh oh, two more. Six and hunting after purple. Great. Mm -hmm. It's got five attack strength, and you only have two, three. Defense. Oh, two, two defense in the city watch. If you slot a watchtower, you could have a guy mm. for three defense. Mm. And you'll get a victory point for defending. It's also probably gonna attack me, which is depressing, but it, it's the strategy I chose. Why is it I probably gonna attack you? <laughs> well, because I'm dropping two of these, so if, if, oh. if one and one go there, I'm good. But if yeah. just a red goes there, mm. it, it, I have a chance. Well, first off, I'm probably gonna use both of these treasury officers. Mm -hmm. uh, so Brilliant. six, six coins. Please. That's a lot. Temporary aid to the cash flow here. Um, which I'm going to then spend to retrieve my two representatives at the Capitol Hall. Excellent Lovely. decision. I'll change uh, it for one. There we go. Oop, I your change. Of one here, which means welcome to the family, citizen. Aww, because you have that lone treasurer that no one had claimed. Another Dang. foolish citizen joins the Fed cartel <laughs> instead of the Look stinky how feet happy cartel. He is. Instead of the, how welcome he a wiser feels. Decision. He In, does look happy. Not being sent to fight a lot of monsters immediately. <laughs> uh, I can place folks to do this again. Because I have it up and I have the people, I may regret this, but I'm gonna go ahead and place, uh, use advisor to the chancellor to place two people back there. I think that's the right move. And uh, place my final guy, wait, can I do that? If, if you, you sleeve slot it, it, you haven't slotted anything. Right, yet. okay, yeah. that's the thing that's missing. I think well, I'll put it on this one because this one's about placing people, so I, I can't use both of those unless I'm just like drowning in agents Good when that call. comes back up. That's the right um, so I will sleeve a watchtower lookout. And that is your turn, right? I know I just promised the citizen oh, that I lie. wasn't sending him to fight monsters. But you lied. But he knows somebody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using that to place my agent in the watchtower. Pretty my smart. Turn. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, yep. It's attacking. I dodged it. And you are you're being attacked. Yes, sir. And uh, thank your, you for your defense decision looks like goodness. a pretty good one now. Very good right. Okay. So uh, you successfully block it. If you pull your guy off the watchtower, you successfully. Talk me through it because I've never done this before. Uh, yeah. When so a threat attacks, it is a it is a five strength threat. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it is attacking you for five. You're reducing it by two, so it's actually only a three strength threat against you. Excellent. And if you pull this guy back, you block an additional three, so you block the full five. 
Because one guy in the watchtower blocks it. And he stays trained? Yes. And he stays trained? <laughs> Whenever you block something that attacks you, you will score a victory point. It's my first actual victory point. Thank you. And then you. The, the threat gets discarded. It happens to be yours, so it goes to your guild hall. Oh, nice. Wow. Good turn, Amy. Very Welcome good. home. Very good. Also, Welcome. Welcome. when you train someone at the university, they major in everything. They do. Mm, yeah. It's a really yeah. good university. It's an excellent school. Well, we should pull a monster from the bottom of the discard oh, to you. replace that one. Another and big it happens one. to be Kate's. Mm, medium oh, size one. So this has a, an attack power of three and worth, ooh, either two victory points or a victory point and the ability to place an agent on any location. Whoa, whoa, so whoa. I'm gonna um, definitely be doing, oh, I actually already have two at the Capitol Hall. Boo. <laughs> um, I do have five money though, so let's do this. I'm gonna pull them, pay five, which really is a problem because now I'm out of money, uh, but claim this citizen. Oh. <gasps> no, mama. He's been enlisted. Trolla. Trolla. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, discard these two for no use. But what's it gonna use instead? I'm gonna use my card. That's smart. Uh, I don't have stuff, so I'll just put one. Um, I will then use my card again and place these guys right back. And now I really have all kinds of money problems. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I will sleeve a backsmith because I might make that attack useful later. Stick with your warmongering theme. Your kingdom is beautiful, but your people are starving. Money. <laughs> I don't know why somebody just joined your guild. Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> lies are you telling them? Because we have the most reputation. Well, well that sure is, yeah, that's the true. The most reputable. Yeah. The round um, has progressed, and first player now goes to John. All right. The first two are beautiful. I will take them. Beautiful. One's mine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's your hand size, eh? I'm done. My hand size has diminished since last turn, mm -hmm. which is sad. You might want to try to plan to attack this turn. So I might need to skip the patrician. Is there anybody worth three worth attacking? Yes, Either of those I can two. place someone. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna take these two citizens. I'm gonna use an influence to skip the patrician in order to take back my own citizen Aww. that will fight on my behalf. Nice. That's sweet. Oh, he loves you. He does, indeed. He did the moment he saw you. You're getting a full four <laughs> cards. I'm actually not. Yeah, oh, that's now. right. You'll never oh, know how oh, many cards oh. I need. <laughs> At least somebody's paying attention. <laughs> it was not me. I notice you're sitting on six victory points, and I'm beginning to feel <laughs> concerned. <laughs> yeah. Right? Excellent. Let's refill all the cubes in the bag. Well, there's one left. There's which, one left. Which, which Kate will Kate's get. gonna get. Great. Go ahead and draw your hand. Your first so you're pulling all three from the street. <laughs> yeah. Try not to drop cubes. I am. And I need You do one, see two, the whole deck three, pretty often. Four, Five cubes yep. for three cards. That's brutal. Here you go. Yeah, thanks. So I'm getting oh two. I think I'll probably go ahead and take my citizen here. All right, and I think I will pay one to skip and get the patrician. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's really skipping me, mm -hmm. huh? You need your cubes, and mm -hmm. on we go. Here we go. <laughs> Action phase. Okay. What's happened? That's not terrible. I'm okay with that. My patrician gives me one and one. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. That's that one. First war council member is going to place a single guy down. I am then going to pull them both. Um, so I've done that. Don't take my one and one cube. I am hunting threats this turn. I am so I'm so low in money. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's a problem. It's going to be okay. I don't think it is. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go For one, me. two, and three. <laughs> I am paying, uh, who's green? You're green. Me! <laughs> so I have three attack strength, which is going to uh, bump off. Go for the one where you have one. a cube, though, because you're red. You want to protect yourself there. Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why'd you give me the advice to kill that one on my turn then? Come uh, on. Stop taking Baelish's advice. That's we, true. We're not going <laughs> to Never learn. listen to Peter Baelish. Uh, Maybe this time he's give sincere. Me one point Maybe and allow me to place him. a guy at the war council, <laughs> and then I'll use my other war council to place the second guy. So I'm ready to go again next turn. Woo, the right. really sad thing is John is like out of money and almost out of guys. We're very sad for you. I know. Me too. Um, so I'm gonna sleep with the treasury officer, which gives me three bucks, which I will be spending along with this dollar to you. Thank you. Placing him, training that done. Wow, <laughs> you are so good at fast turns. Here, Why did you give me a dollar? That's yours. For I used, spin, using oh, your I didn't give you a dollar. Professor. What, what, what? Oh, good catch. I was excited huh. about the dollar. Thank yeah. you. I need that. I don't need that. We've got three cubes here. I, I also killed your card. Thank you. 
three cubes. Woo! And the monster is replaced by another medium-sized guy. This Oof. is oh, this is the one I killed before. Six strength. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna do some killing on my turn. I have three citizens, one of them is mine, two are neutral, and I am going to pull back my war counselors. <gasps> Go hunting? In order to hunt. Yes, I would like to kill something worth three, which there's only one card that does that. Two I will points. take two points. Very okay. nice, well done, well done. Oh the king boy, just our boring. first, oh it's only five. Oh, middle one's, goodness. Middle one's kind of weak. It is fairly terrifying though. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take a three and give back one victory point. Uh, okay, so I've used my three citizens. I also have a war council member. I could slot in another war council mm. member and not pay any influence to put two people there right now, mm. which sounds real fun. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I would like another war council member. This one? Yes, that's mm -hmm. the one. Okay, now you we got, got a war me. council party. No. Yes. <laughs> I want to win. You're making John. a lot of friends on that council, I see. I want to do John's strategy better than John. Okay, so now I'm going to place those war council members right back where they came from. Excellent. The cubes. Ooh. Oh, well. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Two black, two red, two gray. It is a very interesting three way danger fight there. Yeah, I'm going to get uh, it. That. So be it. First things first, um, I'm going to pay you. <gasps> Thank you. One Go one <laughs> coin to use your tre my treasury officer or your yeah, treasury he's officer been for three. I'm then going to use the patrician to get one influence and one goodwill token. Nice. Doing really good at remembering what those are called. Yeah. Huh. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to sleeve oh, one of those, please. Middle, lovely. Thank you. This is the Watchtower Lookout. She has a wonderful braid. She does. I like she it has a lot. A very nice braid. I'm going to put that up here. And. Uh, she is going to keep lookout for us, and that means I get to put one of my trained agents over in the watchtower. Yep. Also hoping that one has a nice braid. <laughs> they can trade braid tips. Yeah. And that Very is it. So that goes to you. I have two things in my guild hall. Goes to you. These go into mm, discard. Your turn. Go for it. Uh, and <laughs> I will... Throw a lot of red cubes in the tower for me, please. Oh, oh goodness. Well, uh -oh. I, I'm gonna... Woo! I knew it was coming. John's in trouble! I knew I've it was got coming. three over okay. here for you, so... <laughs> oh, you do too. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ooh, uh -oh. Okay. One, two, three, so a lot happens. Really bad news for John as well. We've got it. eight <laughs> cubes here and eight balance. cubes here. So first that one attacks me and me only. Then the middle one attacks me and me only. Oh, oh wow. Just balancing it out, you know. Do, 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 do. You do have a lot of victory points. I have so now used up my buffer of only small one point losses. I'm now going to go down to two point losses at a time. So oh, goodness. Really, oh, you... that's a problem. Oh, oh. That could have gone better. I get my card back. Definitely could have gone better. Thank you. I got my card <gasps> back. Though. A farmer. So now we refill the monsters? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's going to be, oh, a big, scary. Uh -oh. uh, person I wish I had back. Uh, 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 oh. A five strength. And a little bitty dark agent. Lovely. Hello, dark agent. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Oh. Is it your first day? Next round. We're going to kill you. No, just kidding. Okay. I just want to skip it. It's turn so right? bad. Uh, okay. Three money, please. Yeah. I'm using the treasury officer that this patrician knows, uh, which will come in very much handy. I will pay two to train another agent with my university professor here. You have so many smart people <clears throat> in your guild. Uh, yeah, we don't have uh, much to show for it. But uh, we're a little bit of dunces over here. Remember, every trained agent is a point though. Uh, so oh that's, three point, that's three points you got good, on good. me right now. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and bank the influency what so's. And I'm going to spend five to recall my Capitol Hill agents there. <gasps> oh, they fell down, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it might have, uh, and him. nab myself a patrician who wants to hang out with my Ooh, in the extremely club. friendly cartel. Goodness You've gracious. got a good system of treasury and um, uh, advisors to the chancellor mm -hmm. where you just keep Claiming cards as your own. Yeah. Uh, that's the, I don't know what I'm going to do with any of them. That's oh, make us pay you. straight up points. And make us pay you to use yeah. them. All right. This doesn't do yeah. much, and I've already turned in your money value. Oh, I need to add Sleep something. Simple. Right. The actual turn part of the turn. I'm going to put the watchtower lookout 
just gonna spread it out because I can't tell who's coming and I don't want these monsters to keep getting bigger. I believe and that I will put around. someone in the watchtower. Thank you. End of round. I That's actually exciting. don't get to draft anything because I have three cards in my guild hall. And my hand size is only three now. But I need three cards, please. Uh, I don't have a lot of great options here. So I think I will just take the quarter point. I'm just gonna take the first three. Perfect, because these two neutral citizens are what I need, because I have no money. <laughs> Don't worst. ever do what he wants. <laughs> I have absolutely no money. Always the opposite. And oh. I need battle strength that doesn't cost money, so that is what I wanted to see. So I have no idea whether this was a good call. I just grabbed some random people. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, I pulled four <gasps> of my own color. That's good news. Oh, no. That's not good for you. How did you do I want, that? Uh, you know, oh, I know. please put a translator on him. Uh, yeah, like, I want honesty. gifts that say, that's good news. Translation. <laughs> you are okay, a screw. Yeah. Translation. Just a subtitle for me. Yeah. And after everything. It's because I'm, I'm glad that I'm not seeing more red cubes coming out. I need I need this to stop going down at this point. It is. I know that you're right. It's just yeah. so Amy, you're first player now, I believe. Yeah. Yes, and okay. I've just drawn up. Great. Uh, you got so your hand. I've got mine. You've got yours. Now it goes to Kate, who has mm -hmm. a three hand size limit. So Ooh, what's I'm your thought process? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, the problem is there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of red cards out there. One of them has a blacksmith and an advisor on, which is interesting, but not the strategy I'm going for. Um, I don't believe the first citizen which belongs to Amy is any use to me because it just has an advisor in it. So I'm definitely going to skip that advisor. But then I think I will take the patrician. You could I'll discard take, this to take back your other yeah. farmer for three coins. I'll just take those two. Thank you. Okay. So that's the end of the drafting, the uh, assembly phase. All right. So do, do I will all. drop the cubes. Just don't. Do us all. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's good We've news. got six over there, and now I'm tied with you Ooh. on that one. Hopefully that will pop before uh, all of that gets dropped. I have a lot of attack power, but I don't have the ability to attack anything. Nope. I've just got some defense out just there. Just send a crier into town. Yeah. Anyone that's bored looking for adventure can join your guild. You got yeah. it. <laughs> I'm going to sleep the city treasury on this citizen. I'm going to leave somebody mm. else a ripe. Uh, a beautiful card. You can pay me back, because I did that for the one that you Too stole. Yeah. Yeah. You're putting it on a neutral? Well, I'm not putting it on a blue or a green. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got this, uh, which turns into goodwill for taking the card nobody wanted. I'm going to discard that to use some ability on here, and I believe I will. I know what to... you should do. What should I do? You should play the farmer because you already have one farmer in farm town, and for the second one, your next round, you're mm -hmm. going to have a hand limit of four. Yeah, and all I have to do is pay Kate. you. Yeah, good choice. Uh, Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'm so used to not having dudes. Oh. It's exciting you that they're here. One dollar for that. I discard, or these two go back to you all. Oh, yeah. Ooh, for I me. get a dollar for placing the oh, farmer, and this neutral citizen goes into the discard. Here all right. Go. Thank you. <gasps> that sounds. Oh, terrible. that is great news. Oh no. It doesn't attack yet, but it's about to attack gray and gray only. Kate. Actually, I, that's that's the guy I'm about to kill though. Great. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking a <laughs> bottom <laughs> slot. <laughs> Deep Hollow Militia Chief. Mm. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna pull these two to hunt threats this turn. I don't have to do it immediately. It means I can do it at any point this turn. So then I'm gonna use the first Deep Hollow to put three there. Use the second one to pull two back and get plus three attack strength. Um, so now I have five, I have six attack strength. I don't actually need six. So I'm discarding this card for no use because I think I'm safe here. I'm actually gonna kill this middle ah! one. Four points. That's you. That will also mean this refills and triggers Mitch. a shuffle at the end of my turn. All right. All right. We gotta kill a patrician. Thank you. <laughs> She's in a really bad mood. <laughs> While John is shuffling, would you drop my cubes, please? Absolutely. Oh boy, don't do it. Uh -oh. Don't do it. Oh, no. it didn't do it. One, no, two, three, that's four. That's so bad. Oh, wait, hold on. What fell down in here? There was a black was one, yeah. and a gray, I believe. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I was supposed to clear all no, this wait, out. No, wait, my green fell wait. over there. Oh, what happened? That was what was in that it was cube. Supposed to oh. clear. It was it was like that. Okay. Um, but the yeah, right one didn't pop, and that's all no. I care about. First I hate things this first. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Who I hate this thing? <laughs> okay, so my first action on my turn, I'm going to do the treasury officer and get three coins. Nice. It's my own all of my cards are my own, so I don't have to pay nobody yeah, nothing. Right. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, then I have a university professor. I'm obviously gonna train an agent because that's nice. so exciting. And it only costs me three to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a Mill Hollow landowner. 
I can uh, place a trained agent on the farm oh, in order to take one coin. What are you talking about? Fine. He has so many victory points, I know. Then my fourth action, I'm gonna use this patrician, take one influence, oops, throw it at myself, and one quarter point. Excellent. And then my fifth and sixth action require me to slot first. I, I would like to slot a middle militia chief. If I slot it with this fighting citizen and with my university professor, I'll be getting a new trained guy when I play it, so that makes sense in there. Fantastic. I'm just gonna put the two I have here, but don't worry, I can do more soon. And then for every two that I take, I get three additional attacks. So I have five attack, and I will kill the guy that's worth uh, five. Okay. So yep. you get either uh, four points. It's either four points or three points, and you get to place a guy anywhere. This is also yours. Thank you. All my monsters coming home. Ooh, you killed the guy that wasn't going to attack me. I also had to pull my war council in order to do that. So now I think I just want the extra victory points. I'm going to take four VP. Cool. Nice. That's Two. my turn. Uh, would you like all of your cubes, sir? No, have, but... Have all of your cubes, sir. Those okay. are the rules I made up, unfortunately. We're all right. at five in the center. Nice. Leading Two candidate five. is black, which is not good. Two, five, three. Before my turn starts, I'm just going to swap out this low-level uni university professor for a mid-level. It's the same, same thing, just in a different slot. First things first, correct me if I do this wrong, because I'm excited. I'm going to take... Uh, this guy. I'm going to take another treasure officer. You know someone in the treasury? I know a couple people in the treasury! Mm. Ten. Take a while. They have a lot of keys on their key ring. It's amazing. Um, and then I get three gold for knowing him. I will pay two because I have two of my little agents at university studying. It costs only two more coin Absolutely. to train another agent. So I'm moving him up. Smart. Then I'm going to discard these two cards to activate this uh, land landowner mm -hmm. to put one of my agents back into farm town. And oh, I get a dollar for it. Lovely. And now my my I have two farmers there again, so I will be able to increase my hand again. These End are discarded, round. discarded, discarded. All right. Okay. Back to John in his guild hall. The penultimate round. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. I am really sorry, Amy. I also have two purple, and you have four purple. <laughs> so I have one. Okay, you draw first. I'm going to. Oh, me too. So I'm going to. I'm so glad. Do one, two. Oh my. Oh. Three. Oh, you don't want my lowly citizen? <laughs> okay. I'm just glad these aren't turning into monsters because these are full. <laughs> <laughs> so your oh. hand limit is now four, so you get to draw two. Cards. I sure do, because I've got my two pokes in the farm now. I'm going to have to pay to use either of those, but I don't plan on attacking anything, so. Let's just go ahead and take these two. Sliding. Thank you. Okay, John, oh, you get two more cards, eh? You are the uh, only one with a three card hand limit. Yeah, yeah. Amy, draw some more cubes first. I do, I do. I have one, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven cubes, oh. please. Ouchies. I will. Oh. I'm getting three. I don't have a war council right now, which is what I need, but I can always sleeve it. Which is fun. <gasps> Ooh, or pay a. Oh, I don't have enough influence to pay you for your double war council member there. But I do oh, enough have oh, enough influence to, to pay. Are you getting three cards? I'm picking up three cards. Oh, that's true. You could totally get to it. So I need to skip one thing here because I really want those war council members. It is a victory point to train someone. I have the money to do it, so I'm going to skip the patrician. Okay. Take a citizen with the treasury officer, a citizen with the professor, and a citizen with two war council members. All right, Very on exciting. we go. Cubes. Okay, they both land here. Interesting. We've got five over there. Five in the middle and two on the left. All right, first things first. I'm gonna start pulling yep, pulling my money. guys back. So with my first uh, citizen's uh, landowner, I'm going to pull one of my agents back, thank you, and I'm going to take three, three coin for that. And then with my second under the patrician, I'm going to withdraw my other guy, thank you, my other agent, and take my three coin back. Um, that is those two. I will also use the patrician to get my um, my influence and my mm. goodwill. Oops. Nice, nice. That's that one. Those are done. And then... Sleeve a grand librarian and get some points. Uh, yes, I will be sleeving a grand librarian. I want to get that middle one to put it under my own citizen. 
I can then pay gold for victory points. So, how is that everything for you? Uh, yes, once I've done this this math here. You got four purples coming. All right, let's see what happens. Put them all in the middle. Or uh, the left. Ooh, this is good. No, bad so news. So seven over here, and six, six over here, and Dr three over here. Dreadful, Everything's a mess. Dreadful news for me. Uh oh. <laughs> I believe I'm gonna start by just going ahead and treasury officering six money, please, and then I would like to pay two to train uh, my last untrained agent. So I'm using my university professor for that, and I'll need one money back. Oh, could I have done that? Sorry. Could I have trained my last guy to move him up here? I did have the card available. I just didn't yeah. actually use it. Yeah, Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Excellent. <gasps> that one point's gonna save the game, guys. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I actually could just fight something for Get one. Fight. Yeah. But in order to fight, you have to sleeve a war council. Which isn't bad. And then Do I? Oh, that's to go on the hunt. And yes. You place two there and you can pull them and kill some stuff. Okay, yes, talk me through it. I haven't done this yet. So, sleeve it on, um, on my card, I'm not, gonna not it on, on Becca's, Becca's card. card. You can sleeve it on my card. I was going to put Thank the money you. thing on your card, but I'm going to put the military thing on hers, because I don't want to help either of you. She's, she's uh, it's too late in the game to draw it anyway. Who has the most points? Don't help that We're person. both at 10, but she oh. has better defense than I do. Oh. She's actually beating me. I will wow. take that card, though. I don't know. <laughs> It's there. It's, it's there. It's too late. Thank you, so Amy. Then, it's too if late. If I win by one point, we'll know it's because of Amy. Yeah. Yep. So then you would do it. Okay. Now this gives me the option to uh, pay two influence to put down two guys, which is what I need to do, right? Yes. But, You're going to pull them immediately this turn if you want to go kill stuff this turn. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Yoink. I'm pulling them back out. I'm going to use three attack strength to get myself two victory points. I've entered combat. It's, yep. it's turn you seven. You get two points You've for done that. It. You also and cleared the guy that was about to attack me, so thank you. One coin to John from you. And I want to put one more person in the watchtower. Look out with this, because mm -hmm. I can. Two VP for killing. Thank you. I feel so proud. <laughs> uh, which means I have used pretty much all this, except for turning in the patrician for one of each of these. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that taps me out for the turn. Okay. Thank my you turn. very much. And then I start my discarding, right? Nice turn. And that, that does awesome. not pop the middle Wow. Room. Wow. Yes. Lucky. Saved. Ooh. Lucky. You saved me by killing that guy, and a lucky drop saved me there. All right. Don't do it. Woo. Don't do what so, you're going to do. So the one precious dollar that I got is going to be immediately spent to get some defense. Thank you for your watchtower lookout. <laughs> um, bone dry and everything else at this Aww. point, which is a shame. It's the luck of the cards. What are you going to do? Thank what you. What do you got? I'm going to sleeve Deep Hollow Militia Chief and place a single guy at the Deep Hollow Border Town for next turn. Done. Right, Cubes, do please. Honors. Oh, and it hacks. Oh, no. It attacks just you. You, you insta block it. Oh, great. Yes, that's okay. good for you. That's, thanks. You get a VP for insta blocking. Ah, Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Your VPs are piling up over there. That yeah, was oh, a late seriously. start, what but the... okay. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to use my treasury officer for three coins. It doesn't look like any money, but I need money. Okay. <laughs> uh, second, I'm going to use your Thank war you. council members. Two of them, so there's two coins. Nice. I'm placing, and I'll pull them in mm. just a moment. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use Amy's university professor. Well, thank you. Uh, so I will pay you one. Thank you. And I will train someone for the cost of three because I already have a professor over there. Yeah. Now I'm going to sleeve my card. You know when you were like so excited that you want your turn to go well that you just like the anticipation is just like. <laughs> this is a really good turn. I'm gonna. Oh, turn. I don't want a grand librarian. Uh, I want an advisor to the chancellor. Ooh. Yep. And then take that card. Yes. Oh and then I will use it to place Wait, two trained agents on Capitol Hill and immediately oh, pull oh. them back because this was a neutral card that had a treasury officer. You got it. So I have claimed it. So now that's a, a three point card. Three and point card. It'll cost you five dollars. It'll cost me five. How so. did that happen? I did that one. That was that, no. Are you attacking this turn or is that your turn? Oh, I'm sure attacking this turn. So there's one attack there that is mine. There's one attack here. Let me see. I'm gonna pay people for stuff. More money. Yeah. Uh, one money to John <laughs> to use his attack. Are you attacking the five, the two, or the seven? Oh wait, wait. You could get it's to five. Seven. Have you taken that two money yet? Uh, nope. Okay, then you can get to five. Yep. Great. One, two, three, four, five. So I did have to pay you both. I have Good one show. coin left. 
but I have killed for four VP. Your this is the fifth card going in my guild hall. Is there an order? Do I you get to get choose? A, you will get a five card hand. Great. Oh my goodness, I, that's I why it's good that. to claim all those cards. Yes. Six card hand. My <gasps> lord. Yeah, you get all the cards. You can kill us with keys. That is awesome. Jeez. End of round. Final that's round. Right. Final round. You're first. There is no next round. There is no okay, next okay. round. I'm first to draft, and I have no idea what to do. All right. Yeah. If I'm trying to attack this round, I'm going to pay an influence to skip the patrician. One, two, three. That's Good enough choice. for me. More money for me. I want to kill as much as I can possibly kill. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm going to take these two. Ooh, that's a half a point right there. That makes sense. You're not getting anything, and I'm not getting anything, so we are done drafting. Wow. Ah. Your first cubes. <sighs> there are a go. lot of my own cubes, and I have no defense. Yes, I dodged another one. Oh, what happens if it's a tie? It's just you. It's not tied. Oh, it is tied. It's Green and purple me, are getting attacked. Me and Amy, I'm just going to take a hit because I have no defense whatsoever. Oof. And I've got a and standard you two. you one point for blocking it. Yes, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> You're up back here. No, this is the first time I've been poor and it sucks. Tell me about it. <laughs> okay, I can get money by sleeving. So I have to take You're gonna be killing the, the treasury. Pot. Yeah. Ugh. And we actually used up a file. Wow. And once the pile's gone, no more it's gone. Card can be taken. Uh, no okay, so I get three coins from the treasury for my treasury officer, and one of them goes to John. I'm going to use one of John's Deep Hollow Militia Chiefs. Excellent. And I can place up to three militia persons. So you really only need one. Yes, because I can only pull two at a time. That's right. So I'm going to pull that other guy. Yep, with my other abilities. So you owe me another dollar. So that gives me three. Four, five, six. Ugh. I'll five. take the guy where six. He's five. Oh, he's a six. Yep. You get four cool. points. Well four done! Four points. So I will take four points. And, and this is also my card. card. Yes, thank Doesn't you. matter, but. Okay. I'm gonna take five strength. Oof. So I took my money, I did my attacks. I actually I have to pay you for the use oh. of your citizen's attack. That's it. Cubes. All, all of my cubes. Uh, All spread right, out a little two, at least. three, and three. I like the lack of red cubes out there. First thing I'm going to do is use my patrician to get one reputation and one goodwill. Um, I will then use my other patrician to get one influence and one goodwill. All right. I will then use my Mill Hollow mm. land owner to take one of my trained agents and put him in here. Okay. I will then sleeve another one of these guys to then take him out, and that gives me four coins, because I got one for putting him in and three for taking him out. Wonderful. Great. I'm done. Right? Mm -hmm. That's everything, right? Oh my, it. okay. Cubes? Ah, uh, cubes. Please don't cause the middle guy to attack, because I really want to kill him. Awful lot of cubes. Okay, you didn't cause anybody to attack. All right. As long as I don't cause the middle guy to attack with my three cubes, which is unlikely, Yeah. I'm good. So this being my final turn, uh, I'm going to first cash in my treasury officers mm -hmm. for uh, nine. nine oh, she I'll give you one, you give me ten. Thank you. She's been going money all game, though. Gotcha. Um, now, what I'm thinking about is... You yeah, want to trade huh? money for points? I would like to trade money for points. Oh, wow, you're so rich, and you have She's so many cards that are in your own uh, guild. Ten, yeah. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. For six, six victory P. points, please. Oh. 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 That's a lot. There's your six. And I've still got three attack points. So may I spend, uh, discard two mm -hmm. to tap the war council thing, which I need to, two influence to the bank and um, one to buck. place these two guys one buck to bank. here. I will take one monies, please. There we go. That's true. Oh, I you've will, been counting, okay. I have discarded these. I will pull these back oh. out. Uh, I kill the, the thing that's For worth three. Points. I think Amy might be beating me. I don't know. I think this turn is probably crucial. Not. This is a huge, she's and got then, a six yeah. card hand this turn. Yeah. It's massive. It was crazy that that happened like that. So <gasps> I get the points for killing that, and then I get one influence and one goodwill, please, for this remaining patrician. You have been recruiting neutral citizens yep. all game. And I'm, yeah. uh, no excuses, I don't know, and I'm going to put somebody in the watchtower because I can, and I see no reason not to. My turn. Just don't pop the middle guy. Don't all three land in the middle. All right, I'm good. You're good. Here's what John needs to do. John needs to sleeve earlier. a deep, oh. block, deep hollow. Matter. So I'm going to pull the two from the deep hollow using that for so aggressively. three attack strengths. <laughs> then I'm using <laughs> both war councils to put them back, pull them immediately. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hunting threats. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I take out the seven in the middle for six points. 
I'm giving these right back to you, Amy, because you're about to count them for your victory points. Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. So just keep them handy. I'm pretty sure that's everything I can do. Oh, no, oh yep, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, I could have. First things first, trade in all of your money, influence, and goodwill, and divide by four. They can bleed over onto each other. So you pull them all together and then Great. divide by four and give yourself that many VP. Then uh, remember to count how many are left in your defense track. Amy and Kate both have still 16 points. I have 15. You have 14. That's not bad. We're all doing pretty well there. So uh, that plus what you already had in VP tokens and uh, money divided by four. And then one point for everything that you own that is sleeved. And then one point for each trained agent. Oh, yeah, I got a pretty good score. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm actually, actually doing better than I was worried I was doing. Good job. Um, I bought two additional cards, so I have six instead. So I managed to get the maximum amount of points I could have gotten here from sleeving new advancements, because I always sleeved on my own cards. Not a lot of trained guys, a few points left over. My total is 55. Wow. Becca beat me, I'm sure. I'm not going to say yet. <laughs> Kate, what do you have? <laughs> sure. That's a, that's a good order to do things. Um, so I really went for training my agents. I've got all my agents trained. I also managed to fully sleeve some of my own citizens. Um, I did put a lot of sleeves in other cards, though, so that doesn't help. Um, and I have a grand total of 48. I made a lot of similar moves to Kate. I trained all my agents. I didn't, uh, I, I over-invested in defense and uh, could have stood to lose a point mm -hmm. or two there. And I have 40, 59? Nice. nice! That's a great score. Caveat, I played this one <laughs> so far. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's been a while since I, okay. I won. <laughs> oh, <laughs> by how much? Oh. 60 and three quarter nice. points. Wow. Nice. Uh, Congratulations. I, I, I gave you that one point, but you have the order beating by the three quarters. It <laughs> matters. The three quarters mattered. Wow. So wow. I have seven sleeved cards. Wow. I guess nice. I recruited more, uh, more um, cards than I you. I recruited no one. Uh, I didn't worry too much about training all of my agents. I just did it as I needed it. And mm -hmm. I worried zero about defense, <laughs> but did kill things. And I also got very lucky with not many green cubes yeah. falling down there. I, I got hit twice, but it wasn't too bad. I had so much fun, and I know a game is good when I get really nervous about yeah. whether or not I'm gonna have enough VP to win. Um, wow. Well done, Amy. 59 to 60 and three quarters? Awesome. And yeah. you gave me a point. You couldn't have given it, you right. couldn't have taken it. We would have been 59 to 59 and three quarters. Really yes. <laughs> wow, uh, this was such an amazing game. I love this. Uh, John, thank you for designing yeah, thank it. You guys. Ladies, thank you for playing. Thank you for having me. This was wonderful. I'm, I want this game now. I need it in my life. I, uh, I can't lie. I'm on a real winning high right now. There's a lot of endorphins flowing through my body. Serotonin. I'm not a scientist. Dopamine. Like dopamine. dopamine. <laughs> I am so doped up on that dopamine. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, thanks so much to you guys again. Thanks to everybody at home for watching. Mm. Please tune in to future episodes of Game the Game and watch our how to plays, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.